If you haven't already, go ahead and uh, like the channel. Maybe give me a little subscribe. I would, uh, I would very, very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate all the subscribers out there. Thank you so much. So, you know, a couple weeks before the election, um, you know, it, it seemed like, you know, Trump was already saying the election. Actually, let me start that over again. Sorry. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and like the channel. Maybe give me a little subscribe. I would very, very much appreciate it. So for weeks before the election, Trump was already saying it was going to be rigged and stolen by the Democrats and their fraudulent mail-in voting. And he was looking at the polls and thinking ahead and, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what do I do if I actually lost the election? How do I undermine this thing? You know, that's right. Trump's kind of been planning this the whole time. And, you know, the thing I'm asking, uh, the thing I'm wondering about is that you think if you'd planned this, you'd think it'd go a lot smoother, right? Um, I mean, the whole, whole MAGA world seems to be very confused. You know, one part of the country, they're yelling this. Stop the count! And in other parts of the country, they're yelling something a little different. And now if it seemed like uh, they were a little confused on, you know, the direction of the campaign and, and what they should be doing now, uh, it's only gotten worse. Watch this. Where's David Perdue? He ought to be standing right here. Those two people want your vote, then they ought to tell you what we're telling Brian Kemp. Get a special session of the legislature now. Do not be fooled twice. This is Georgia. We ain't dumb. We're not going to go vote on January 5th in another machine made by China. You're not going to fool Georgians again. If Kelly Loeffler wants your vote, if David Perdue wants your vote, they've got to earn it. If Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue do not do it, they have not earned your vote. Don't you give it to them. Why would you go back and vote in another rigged election? For God's sakes, fix it. Yes, why would you go back and vote in another rigged election? Gotta fix it. Now, Trump supporters are trying to stop the steal, are now demanding that the Republican voters, that their Republican voters refuse to participate in another rigged election and not vote for Kelly Loeffler and David Perdue in next month's runoff. Which is a little strange. It's a little, uh, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it does complete another one of Trump's campaign promises, and that's not to be a traditional politician. I mean, this this is crazy even for him, right? Uh, even for some of his supporters. Like, I've seen a lot of political campaigns shoot themselves in the foot, but this is new. This is this is some something, something very different. And I think it also, it shows uh, something very important about these, these Trump supporters, right? Uh, it kind of helps to uh, get an idea of what they're really worth of really thinking and really what they really care about. And it's not about conservatism uh, or the Republican Party. It's about Trump. That's all they care about. That's, that's all that really matters to them. You know, like if they really were against all these things that Trump's really talking about, then they would do anything to make sure that Democrats don't control the Senate. But no, it's really about keeping Trump in office. That's what that's what they really care about, right? And so yes, Trump Republican Trump supporters, stay home. Don't vote. Stop the steal before the steal. Right? And give Joe Biden that Democratic Senate that you all claim to be so worried about. But hey you know, let me know what you think, right? You know, leave me some comments. I'm sure there's a, a couple folks out there who maybe disagree. Uh, it's funny, I've, I've noticed I've gotten a lot of uh, negative comments for a couple videos where I'm talking about Trump and the election and all this stuff. It seems like conservatives are a little mad about something. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for watching Citizen Pete. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, click that little subscribe button, maybe the like button, and hey, Maybe, maybe, just leave a comment. You know, I want to know what you're thinking. What do you think about all the politics and news and all the stuff that's going on in our country?